Kip, let's talk about them live shows, baby. Ooh, that Middle Class Famous Tour. That's a good, good time, that Middle Class Famous Tour. We're coming to a city near you. It's a stand-up comedy show. Then we play a little AYG with the crowd. Fantastic way to introduce new people to the show. Grab your best guy. Grab your best gal. Grab your girlfriends. Grab your guy friends. Bring the whole squad and come see us. Yeah, gang. Next week, uh, September 13th, we're going to be in Kansas City. Woo. Then September 14th, we're going to be in Springfield. All right. Then in September 15th, we're going to be in St. Louis. Then yeah. in October, we're coming to Nashville. We're going to Indy, November, yeah. we're going to Philly, second show out of there, that's almost sold out, get those tickets, don't sleep on that, then we're coming to Providence, Rhode Island, and Boston in December, those shows are sold out at the moment, but we're adding tickets, be on the lookout. Yeah! Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Take two. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, <laughs> and we find out that you're to be classy. Uh-huh. You're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here in Antony's basement. She's upstairs making a nice big breakfast. Okay. Four o'clock in the afternoon. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. Right. Unamused this week. Big strikeout on <laughs> that mean, one. I mean, we did a second take for that. He used to see. <laughs> Oh, of Are You Garbage? He's an international businessman. He's not to be trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Okay. Almost at 100,000 over there on Let's YouTube. Let's go. Uh, and then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, oh, www.patreon.com. Yeah. Are You Garbage? Check it the fuck out, gang. Sweet Lord. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. He wrote that hoodie this week. Didn't want me to tell you. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, got a great distance between anybody and that joke. Ooh, I started sweating that stuck so bad. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there, God damn it. We uh-huh. could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special, Special guest back with us again today. He is a very funny stand up comedian podcaster, just one of the truest stand up comedians working, a true headliner. As pure as it gets. A fucking you, murderer. You can hear him every week on We Might Be Drunk with Mr. Mark Norman, who they both also have Bodega Cat Ooh, Straight Rye Whiskey. Machi, machi. Going old school. I like it. A couple gonna, of bootleggers. They're not doing flavored vodka or nothing like that. They're going straight rye. Wouldn't that be great if we did? If we're like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's like skinny lemon margaritas it's or something. It's whipped cream vodka. So, Everybody yeah. loves that. Yeah. <laughs> that is Although, beautiful. I'll tell you, I have gotten drunk on whipped cream vodka. You throw a little orange juice in that? Oh, yeah. It's a fucking creamsicle. creamsicle baby. Dude, when Pinnacle hit, I was, we were all about Pinnacle. it. Pinnacle. Yeah. Good night. Cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, wow. They we were came, getting wacky with it. <laughs> we came out of the gate garbage <laughs> this week. Yeah, wow. like, you know what's pretty good? <laughs> Gang, he also has a new podcast with Mr. Julian Edelman mm-hmm. called Games with Names that you gotta check out, but the reason that he's here what's the reason that he's here? I don't know. He's got a little special over there on a Netflix. I'm not oh, talking baby. about one of them freebies they give away. We're talking about Netflix, baby. We're talking front page Netflix. Yep. I looked at it today. It's called Same Time Tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sam Morell. Hey. Look at that. Oh my God. That Timmy. was look at that. That was that was incredible. That role you just got on. <laughs> Thank Damn, you. That was yeah, no, I'm pumped. I'm pumped getting nice feedback. I went uh, viral on Trans Twitter. I'll take it. There really? you go. Trans Twitter's loving me right now. It'll it'll turn. <laughs> I know you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it for now. Buddy, oh. congrats, man. It's fucking awesome. Thank Great. You. Yeah, it's Thank fantastic. You. We as, love to as, see it. Like, as you said, as pure of a New York stand up you can be. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I meant one that. of the best 100%. joke writers Thank you, in the country, yeah. arguably the world. I'm so pumped about that this podcast has blown up. Oh, Thank you, buddy. You. Thank you. Thank you. I love uh, to watch you sit back. Fucking you, you, you hang back and you just fucking murder. It looks effortless. Uh, it's a lot of work. I know. <laughs> and the, the special is fucking fantastic. And like we said, it's fucking tearing up the charts over there. I guess. They don't tell you. It's like serious where they're like, they're like, are you doing well? Is it good? I, like, don't I don't know. Did anybody see it? <laughs> they don't release numbers. But I'm like, I feel like, yeah, I'm getting nice feedback. I think when it gets the front page and trending and stuff like that, you know, it's doing some numbies. I was flying from Texas to Burlington, Vermont. Not good routing, obviously. Whoa. For a get for uh, you know, weekend in Vermont. And it's like that. It's, you know when you're on the runway and you're like, I'm not going to make the connection. Oh, <laughs> I'm connected yeah. in your home, Philly. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm like, two-hour delay. The, the flight attendant's like, I think you're going to make it. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> but she's really building me up. She's like, I think they're going to hold the plane. I was like, they don't 
they don't hold planes. That's yeah. not a thing they do for one dude. <laughs> anyway, then we I land. We got Morel coming up from Houston. <laughs> Throw the brakes on. Dude, I get. I land, and she just goes, run. I think you can make it. So I'm running, and it's like we land in B2, and I'm like, please be close. Fucking F32. Uh, I'm fuck dead. That. I don't I'm understand the why water. they do that, man. It's, it's crazy. It kills me. So I, I'm sprinting. They close the door right as I'm getting. I'm like, please don't close it. She goes, sorry. Uh, closes it. What the fuck? And she goes, I can't open it. It's closed. I'm like, but you, you fucking, closed you closed it. <laughs> you oh, that's a real down. fucking it scumbag me. move. So then I had to go from, uh, this is the day it came out. And I go, what the fuck? As I'm doing, I go, what the fuck? I'm yelling. <laughs> Phones are coming up. And I'm like, I'm going to go viral the day my special comes out for not, not my for special. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, what the fuck? Why would you do that? And, uh, and I know I'm going to miss the gig that night. So I'm just furious. Damn. And then she goes, I can get you on a flight to Chicago. <laughs> so I'm going back to Chicago, <laughs> to Burlington. So that's, and I was like, what do I do? And she goes, uh, you got the board in seven. And like, it's boarding now. You got seven minutes to get there. I said, where is it? I shit you not. B4. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm fucked. That's all right. I, I sprinted. But I made it. It took me nine minutes to get here. Dude, I hate a long airport. I, I know I'm a fat pig. I hey, hate a long airport. No, I, hate not- when, I hate when I see multiple of those flat escalators. I know I'm in trouble. Oh, dude. You see a Cinnabon like down in the distance. You can barely make out the sign. Yeah. That shit sucks. Well, they, they, people look up. You're zipping around people, and they're looking up from their phone. And you just, you, we've all seen that person. You're like, that person's not making their flight. Yeah, they're never yeah. making. Their they're flight. out. To, they're on the wrong terminal. Yeah. They should be at LaGuardia, probably. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, do a little recap. Do a little, a little, sure. little checkup on you here. Uh, these flights. You flying? You flying up front? What's what's going on? Depends. Here? You gotta dep- be no. I'll tell some of these flights now, dude. They're I pricey. Just, I'll tell you, I just spent fifteen hundred dollars on a main cabin round trip ticket to Louisville. Whoa! <laughs> it's never the place you want to go. Did you lose a bet? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, zone two. Take it easy, will you? <laughs> Jesus! I'm like, Christ. what the hell? I'm like, a flight to Paris is probably eight hundred. Yeah. Louisville is fifteen hundred now. What the hell? Uh, so that it's nuts. Yeah, if it's if it's not insane, I'll sometimes I'll go up front. But yeah, I mean, what what I mean, also you have the you fly every week, you get the status. But sure, sure. I think East Coast to West Coast sometimes I will. But I mean, dude, it, it, every once in a while you're like, and also if I'm going to like Burlington, normally that's what a two hour an hour flight. You're like, what am I? I'm going to pay an extra two hundred dollars for like this much extra. Sure. Yeah, but that's when you get the cheap. That's when you get the cheap upgrade. You look cool on the plane. 45 minute flight, cup 1500 bucks or something like that. <laughs> I, I'm so bad with money. I use it in both ways. I'm like, well, I'm flying cross country. I got to spend the extra 1500 bucks. And I go, I'm flying to Vermont. It's 40 minutes. It's a couple bucks. Whatever. <laughs> you get like a slightly better kind <laughs> bar. That's, a, like, that's it. Yeah. That's all I got in first class. Huh. Get no, the it's multi green a- cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling him, dude, I, we, I, we flew to South Carolina, me and my girl, just for just, just to chill out for a couple of days. We're in no, South Carolina. We went to Charleston. Oh, that's beautiful. Dude, it was awesome. As, I was like, if you said Myrtle Beach. I was going to go garbage. <laughs> Spring but, break, baby. Yeah. We both Charles- went topless. <laughs> we got tattoos arrested and she's pregnant. Um, no, we went to Charleston, but uh, we were on a JetBlue flight and there was no first class and that made me nervous. I don't like it. I feel like those can crash easier and nobody would really care. Because you feel like no one important yeah, enough is on the flight? Yeah, nobody important. Give me a CFO or something or like... You know, some athlete trying to make the team and important the people or die on flight. Kobe died in a helicopter. True. <laughs> That's true. Important people do die. Yeah. John That's Denver, true. right? I mean, there's, there's he was flights. flying himself though. That's true. He was looking for it. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna mention another <laughs> Yankee who also flew himself. Uh, who? Fucking no, goddamn the catcher Thurman Munson. Oh yeah, Thurman yeah. Munson. Same with uh, Roy Holiday, right? As he was well. flying. Yeah, dude, that was, he was crazy. That jet was wild. He was flying too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That guy, that that was like one of the best pitchers ever. That was insane. Awesome. You never get into that stuff later in life. You like dirt bikes. You got to do that when you're a kid. You yeah. don't pick those things up. The flying, the helicopters and stuff like that. Get out of here. Have you ever been in those tiny like helicopters ever? They're they're terrifying. I, I can't fit. Yeah. No, we tried. So what? The fact that we're making like I know the little ones you're talking about, and if I was four pounds, I still wouldn't get in that fucking thing, dude. So. For like a stunt, I was like, you know what? We were doing a show in Philly. This is last year. I was like, let's get a fucking, let's get a helicopter and fly down there. In Ooh. the sense of like, we're going to spend the, all the money we're making just to get there. And then we're going to take the bus back as like a bit. And uh, Content. Dude, so I start calling around. I'm like, yeah, I need a helicopter from New York to Philly. Like, no problem. They're like, how many people you got? And they're like, 
I'm like, what's the, and they go, how big are the, and no, nobody over 300 pounds. I was like, ah, it's going to be a problem. And I finally got a hold of one guy. He's like, yeah, we'll do it. I'm like, I don't want to fly with you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Seven <laughs> people said no, and some guy's like, yeah, who gives a fuck? I'm like, I'm Wild, like, Wild Bill's not. chopper service. <laughs> I'll get that fat bastard down here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it, Airlines. That's not what you, that's not what you want to be on. <laughs> we'll do it, Airlines. <laughs> Damn, that is, yeah. so you, so you wouldn't get on. I wouldn't. I know. At that point, like seven people had told me no, and I was like, "Let me just try this one." I last can't believe time. you made it to seven. After like three <laughs> said no to me, I'd be like, "No, we're not." Hey, we love the fans. We want to get the content out there. <laughs> it is a good. The bit. Coast Guard is going to have to take them down. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to drown them in the Hudson. They were going to save them and take them to Penn. Um, are you an, are you a lounge guy at the airport? We do the American yeah, Express because, lounge. No, I do the Delta lounge. You're a Delta do, guy, but that's. From, from just so much flying status. every week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of do you, if you don't mind, what kind of status you? Because you fly a lot. Diamond, I'm diamond. Whoa, really? Yeah, you're yeah. diamond. So Whoa. you have an American Express card with with Sky Miles. Yeah, yeah. And you're diamond. Yeah. Holy shit! It's just from flying. I'm trying to get the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Rodney Danger? <laughs> I love that lounge, dude. That oh, lounge no, is wow. the Delta there's Lounge is good. There's something about getting either. In the air or lounge drunk. There's something kind of oh, special about it. Dude, dude. In, in an airport, it's lawless. I just yeah. start drinking. But the problem is, like, then you start to look at your road schedule and you're like, I'm on the road. I can't just do this regularly because I'm gone every. That's when when your friends come out to see you at first and they're like, let's get fucked up. And you have that different set of group yeah. coming out. Oh, and you're of like, course. No, this is every night. I can't this just get fucked up yeah, yeah, or yeah. I'm going to be in rehab. Yeah, That's yeah, gonna It's going to end horribly. So you do have to kind of budget. But that, every once in a while, like I had that bad airport day on Thursday and I was like, I'm getting fucked up on the flight. Oh, yeah. I landed late in Vermont. The shows were canceled. Oh, that's a G- gimme. It was a gimme. So, but I was kind of relieved that we yeah. moved it to Sunday, and then uh, Gary Veter and I just hit. We just got fucking hammered at a uh, at like a nice restaurant. It was great. Oh, that's a good time. It was a good time. Yeah, ain't nothing better than it. <laughs> uh, will you take your shoes off when you fly? Absolutely not. No. Oh, he's I, a bit I, of a I, gentleman. You know what? Actually, that's not true. The one condition, if you do get the upgrade and you get those lay flat ones. That you got to. I, I'm 6'3". I got to do it. I sure. start doing laundry up there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, we got that once. I, I was a we game changer. It. It's crazy. I could have done another lap. Yeah. Let's fucking go. I we landed. I, I was refreshed. I was Dude. sitting behind Molly Shannon on one of those what? ones. And I love Molly Shannon. Yeah. So, and I, it took all my strength not to be like, I love you, Molly Shannon. <laughs> I nearly root. I did that once to. Can you name my shoe, please? <laughs> <laughs> I did it once to, uh, you know, that actress, Catherine Keener. Of course. Love her. Uh, love yeah. her. She's love never, her. never not great. You know, like Capote. And, Dude, uh, every John Malkovich. Mm-hmm. And, and Started out version. in the indies. Killed it in the indies Killed for it. years. Your Friends and Neighbors, I think. Great. Another. Cool movies. But yeah. I opened the door out of the bathroom on a flight, and she's standing there, and I just went, I love you. And she went, ah. I was like, sorry. <laughs> and then she goes, I've thank you. you. She goes, thank you. But that's a horrible way to open the door. <laughs> I just look. panicked. I saw her. I was like, oh, she's in Get Out, too. I just remember. She's in so many good yeah. movies. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Will you bring food on the plane? Uh, From like from the lounge or from like well, a- Like anyway, if you stop at Wait, a Shake Shack. Oh, back it up a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's for sure stealing. From You're the taking lounge. from the lounge. Some, I take little things sometimes. It's, yeah. it's meant for it. They have yeah. like the travel, but like the bars and oh, stuff. Oh sure, all that. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you're yeah. not taking like a fucking egg ball out of there or anything I'll take, like that. I'll take an a, omelet or something. Yeah, if it's breakfast, I'll throw a, a couple hard boiled eggs and a little thing, and I'll take them on the flight. Ooh, that was my hard boiled egg. That's on, on the, the list. Plane. Have you ever eaten a hard boiled egg in public? <laughs> Ew, really, Man. dude? In public, they're at the bar. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they're meant I mean, to be. What, am I supposed to go in the bathroom <laughs> with the egg? And That's creepier. See, Kathleen Keener, I love you. <laughs> Any salt? Uh, the hard-boiled egg in, in public is a tough look. It's a bad look. Ugh, it is. Man. Look, I'm not going to act like it's a, a classy move, but I... I I like a hard-boiled egg. You, you throw a little salt and I hot sauce. It, I like, I don't, in public. Dude, that's a very New York thing. Yeah. <laughs> that and a seltzer call a day. <laughs> that and an egg cream. <laughs> I remember I saw Tim Dillon once saw me leave a podcast with a protein bar. He goes, ugh, you're such a New Yorker with your protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like such an odd. I was like, I didn't realize it's like an on-the-go thing, but you just, you know. Uh, shaking, baby. Yeah. That's good. But you won't bring like a sandwich on there. I've done it. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a garbage one. I brought a tuna sub on it. On oh. a flight once. That's a tuna sub. I know, and it, it smells. First bad. class or main cabin? I think I was main cabin. That's main cabin yeah. shit. Right? That's, main, yeah. that's main cabin too. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not. You're not. You're not ahead of the wing on that. <laughs> I've definitely done the seaweed snacks too, which is as low as oh. it gets. Because that dude just sucking them in, and they're just like, uh, they smell. They and smell it's a, bad. And that's a gross thing. It smells like low tide. Yeah. Man. 
They uh, smell real tuna's bad. Tuna's a tough look, though. Tuna's a bad That's look. That's wild. I like tuna. tuna. on a plane is crazy. <laughs> I, reg- I won't do it again. I re- like, there's after- a reason they don't serve tuna fish sandwiches on the plane. <laughs> I swear to God, the first thing I thought. I like when- a tuna hoogie, though. I respect I that. I love it. It was love a Jersey a Mike's. It was the LAX. It was a- and and I, uh, I remember eating it, and everyone's looking at me. At first, I was like, they're jealous that I <laughs> have a sandwich. Talk about being... <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> They're jealous that I remembered a sandwich, yeah. and they didn't. And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, it's it smells horrible. It's like a, a tuna is like a cigar of the food world. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for you. It's bad for it's bad everyone for else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No shit. You're ruining yeah. a couple of days. Yeah. God damn. That's funny, dude. Are you still in the same place? Are you still living in the same place you were when yeah. uh, when we saw you last? I am. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let me say you're making dinner at the house. It never. Maybe never. I'm 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 never home. I, I rarely have groceries. Also, New Yorkers don't make that. You know, theoretically, my fridge less. my fridge looks so sad. Is it? It's. I mean, it's like all on the gauche. It's like canned iced coffee, deviled eggs, uh, <laughs> deviled eggs, deviled eggs. <laughs> Just a I tray wish. of deviled eggs. I wish. No, Shout no, out to the double egg. Uh, yeah, like a few protein shakes, seltzer. It's like all like I'm leaving with this shit. Sure, mm-hmm. on the go again. Yeah, yeah. but let's mm. say hypothetically. Let's say, okay, so for some reason, you and Gary are at the house. All yeah. right. You and Gary are at the house. <laughs> yeah. You're making dinner. Sure. All right. Um, you're going to make pasta. I love making pasta. You love, see, like making pasta. During the pandemic, when we did this the first time, I was cooking a ton. Okay. Because we all were, right? Sure, you had to. So we, if you make pasta, yeah. are you using one whole box of pasta and one jar of sauce, or are you splitting that up? Are you putting a jar of sauce back in the fridge and not using it all completely? I use all the sauce, I think. Thank you. Okay. I, I'm a bit, I like sauce. I don't, I mean, it depends what kind of pasta we're making. If it's like a red sauce, I'm using all the sauce. Nice. For mm-hmm. sure. I, right. Right. I love, it's I love, all right. I love a good, I mean, shit, man. Kids on Netflix. What do you what, mean? It's class right there. there. What, what about, uh, God, what's it called? The Rayos. Rayos. That marinara. That's some of the best jarred awesome. sauce. Rayos is in the best. Is, best jarred sauce. Yeah. Best you can get for sure. That's a, that's a great. It's company. worth the money. Even, I feel like they blew up in the pandemic too. They're big. They used really to be a couple of off. stores you could get them in. Now they have like half the yeah. aisle. Oh, dude, stores. when you were in that grocery store and people were fighting for those last jars, and you're like, "Fuck, I'm left with like zesty garlic <laughs> or something." I want that sensitive marinara, dude, or regular. When good, luck, got- good luck with your ragu yeah. Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, no, I love I love all. I'll do any kind of pasta though. I love. I mean, I'll, I'll do like a fucking white wine sauce, a little pesto. I'll do any of that shit. All right, pasta, I love pasta, a good pesto. Pasta is underrated. I love getting wine drunk with Italian food. That it's hard so to top that. It's just so hearty, especially in the winter. If you if it's a cold New York winter and you just duck into like a little tiny. There was a great place called Via Della Pace that closed down in the East Village. I used, to, I used to do comedy in their basement. I know exactly what you're talking and about. And it was inexpensive. Yeah. And it was great. And I'd see, like, I remember Danilo Gallinari from the Knicks would eat there all the time. So that it scored extra points sure. when he played it. And then uh, I would just, go, it'd be like a $14 pasta for New York. That's fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. And you eat well, a cheap glasses wine. Of red wine. Yeah. Oh, John's on 12th Street's good for that, too. That's a great Duck in there in a cold night. Woo! Got the I had a bartender night. once say to me once he goes, my dad used to say like there's nothing better than the moment you hit your shit face you open New York like the bar door in the cold winter and the wind oh. just hits your face. Oh. Love it. That is kind of epic. It's something because then man, like the, the booze right. starts fighting the cold <laughs> a little bit. It's great, man. The same bartender like we talked for a while and he's like, what are you doing? I avoid saying comic, but he he pulled it out of me and he goes, man, I know this hilarious guy. Uh, I used to watch him take a real big name. I was like, oh who? He goes, uh, Mark Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, shout out to him! <laughs> so I was like, I literally do a podcast with that guy, and he was like, he was like, really? you know Mark Norman? <laughs> <laughs> no, he owes me twenty. Ah, <laughs> uh, shout out to Mark! <laughs> I so badly want to just show up with Mark next time I got. Blow well, his mind. You know, it was his corner bistro in uh in the East Village. Oh Classic. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bourdain used to. He made it popular that place. Yeah, but it's mm-hmm. a great burger spot. Great, great beer spot. When you're counting on your fingers, <laughs> do you start on your thumb or your pinky? Thumb. You do, yeah. Pinky, who starts with their pinky? He just, I, he, I call it one, him the two, other day. three, one, four, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that's weird. That's Is real that weird? weird. Yeah, it's commie shit, dude. That's home- <laughs> that's homeschool shit. What are you talking about? Starting with your pinky. Uh. All right, maybe he's not. What that are you, close. a realtor in Panama? What the hell? What the hell is a start with your pinky? It's easier to do bumps of coke with. <laughs> Get a big long nail. Yeah, uh, that's wild. Okay. Uh, have All you ever right. subscribed to Maxim Magazine? 
No, no, but uh, you know, I, I've back in the day you dabbled. I mean, yeah, but, but the pre-internet porn days, yeah. these kids don't know how lucky they have. <laughs> I they know. have no Jerk, idea. Jerking at the FHM, Woo! Maxim, whatever sure. we could find. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I was all right. Will you have magazines in the bathroom at the house though? I don't real occasionally. Like I'll I'll get magazines at the airport sometimes. Okay. Yeah. You read the newspaper at all? Like on the my, actual paper? Fo- not not really. On my phone or computer. Okay. But I I. I do like, I do like a newspaper. I like a magazine. You strike me as a guy that, that have guy, you ever could subscribed read the Times. to the New Yorker at yeah. any point in yeah, your yeah, life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love really? the New. It's a great, yeah, it's a great magazine. My wife gets New it. York Magazine. Also, I like, I like, uh, I like the Post. I just like, like the Post is the a post good post time. Right. Yeah. I, you just love New York. Yeah. I love New York. Yeah. I love the subway. <laughs> <laughs> I will, and then there's some I'll buy that I just buy to like as like I'm dumb so I should buy this and then like I'm like I'm like I just bought the Economist I'm like yeah. I read like half an article I don't even understand anything yeah. Yeah, yeah I was like what am I doing popular mechanics <laughs> I don't understand a goddamn thing they're talking Sarah, about it's upside down <laughs> Kip let's talk about the good people over there at Better Help oh, you mean the people out there saving a the goddamn world yes they 100 percent are mm-hmm. let me talk to you guys about something I've had issues in my life where I get stuck in what's happening to me rather than trying to figure out what the solution might be. You don't say. And I think to myself, if I had a better mindset about that, if I had better help, Uh somebody that I could reach out to and talk to, Mm -hmm. and they could help give me the tools to solve the problem, how much easier would that make accomplishing my goals, which I am just learning. Yes. Uh, Talk therapy has helped me a lot in the past, and I I just decided this week. We're a couple of screwballs over here. I'm signing up for BetterHelp, baby. I'm doing it this week. I can't wait to get back in the the therapy pool and figure it out. I got. I'm dealing with a lot of shit over here. I got to figure. You need someone to. You need someone to clear out the weeds so you can see clearly. And it doesn't have the tools. It doesn't have to be a catastrophic event in your life. It just could be something that you need some help with. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Better help can help. Also, it's good if things are going well, talk to someone and talk about how well it's going and how great it is. Hey, I feel fortunate I have this going and that. It's it's fantastic. Talk therapy can change your life in such a positive way. It's fantastic. So if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's easy to get in the pool. It's convenient. It's accessible. It's affordable. It's entirely online. You get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapist at any time. They make it easy peasy for you. Uh-huh. Uh, and here is the turkey. Whether Ooh. you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can help you get there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. Kip, how about that factor? Oh, baby. How about those factor meals ready in about two, three minutes? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. Fall's coming. Yeah. Summer's over, gang. Things are going to start getting real hectic. You want to eat right. You don't want to look like a big fat pig like me around Christmas. You want to try to keep it tight. And I swear, Factor can help with their delicious, nutritious meals that are ready in literally minutes. And they deliver them. Right to your door, my friend. Yeah, guys, it's cheaper than takeout, and that's a serious win when it comes to saving a couple bonies. Mm -hmm. Uh, Factor is a perfect mealtime solution for on-the-go lifestyle. Fresh, never-frozen meals are delivered ready to heat and eat in two minutes so you can fuel up fast and get on with your day. They now offer 30-plus meals per week and 36 add-on options. Uh, like smoothies, juices, snacks, and more to keep you Love going. Love the add-ons. Uh, depending on how crazy your schedule is, Factor is cheaper than takeout. Seriously, that's in the book. It's in the numbers, that mm-hmm. is. Um, whether you get thing, wh- wh- when things get extra busy, Factor is flexible. You can change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week. Sure. Or Paul's or reschedule the deliveries. I was doing it for a long time before they were even a before they were even a I know a, good friend of a ours sponsor. Told us about I that. love the factor, yeah. baby. And we were traveling a lot. Bada bing, bada boom. You hop in. Hey, put us on pause. I'm changing this to four weeks. I need. I'm, I'll be home all week. Send me the 18. Let's get it going, baby. Yeah. It's beach season. Get it tight. What are we doing? Uh, not only do they offer fast, simple solutions when I need them the most, they help you stay on top of your goals. And it's hard when it's hard to carve out time. Factor has endless options. However you eat, choose from keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein plus, the whole nine yards. They take care of you. You know what I mean? Um, Factor has everything I need uh, for a week of good eats. Here's the turkey, baby. Head to go.factor75.com slash garbage130 and use code garbage130 to get $130 off across six boxes. 
That's code GARBAGE130 at go.factor75.com slash GARBAGE130 for $130 off. Do it. Uh, you got a Swiffer at the house, at the apartment. I think I do, but I don't. It's one of the things I bought that I don't think I've ever used. Do you have a cleaning person? Just yeah, ask. But yeah. they come rarely, so yeah. the place is not. I'm never home, so I'm like, it doesn't get that bad usually. Mm-hmm. like that. That's very New York of you. Yeah. Like that. Where are you doing the laundry? You doing it at the house Building. or are you dropping it off? I, I do it. You do it? Yeah. Really? It feels weird not to. Do, I feel like do, dropping it off somewhere is almost like more work. Huh. I see what you're saying. If it is, if there's not somewhere conveniently, like across the street or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do it myself, but uh, yeah, I, I, pe- I tell people that and they're weirded out by that sometimes. You strike me as a drop it off, a fluff and fold guy. Nah. That's like the quintessential New yeah, York, New York thing. Move. It's fluff like, and fold, yeah. I like to make a day of it. Like I'll have a movie on and I'll just be, you know, folding. Really? I, yeah, I like it. All right. I've never hated anything more than <laughs> having to do laundry in my apartment. I don't know. Yeah, I like right. when somebody else does it. Like when like 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 my mom or somebody would do it. That makes it very he cozy. He his mom do his laundry. <laughs> it's cr- and he fights me on it. It's the most. I, it's the same ex- shit I've ever it's heard. It's the same life. exact process that he's talking about. Like it's a movie on. The baskets are out. It's yeah, being your mom's done. Doing it. What are I you love talking? it. Yeah, During nice. like basketball season, if I take a night off, I get a Knicks game going. I'm just folding. I'm, yeah, I like that. You're chilling. All right. But that it takes me forever because I get mad during the game. So it, but <laughs> I, <laughs> I ripped three t-shirts. <laughs> what kind of laundry detergent are you using? Do you know it's the top the of little, your head or is it whatever? Pods. The pods. Really? Is that weird to use? No, that's no, good. You use. That's yeah. classic. Tide pods. Yeah, expensive. Like those. Dude, my first Are New York. They? Yeah. yeah. It's more expensive, I think. Oh, that's true, I Than guess. like a five-gallon thing of like Tide whatever. pods, Rayo, tuna subs. This kid's all right. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's all right. <laughs> Dude, my first New York apartment had a washer and dryer in it. In, oh, in the kit, and big. I had no idea how good I had it, because I'm like, yeah, an apartment in Philadelphia has that's their a washer. Dream. And then I, everyone I was looking at after that didn't have I'm like, Did what it, the was fuck? It, both in one, or was it like on top? A it was washer like a, and yeah, dryer. Yeah, it was like washer and it was next to the it was next to the refrigerator. It went refrigerator, washer, dryer, stove. I had that one apartment, and it was all the way uptown, and it was this was uptown, yeah. Yeah, it was a washer dryer in one. Whoa! And yeah, so holy shit, dude! It would take like thirteen hours to dry. <laughs> you think you're getting a good deal, and you're Wait, like, it's just like one? shaking. Yeah, I've so it's like that, yeah. you press like you press <laughs> wash, Wait, what? and then you press dry. So it's like. Dude, I swear to God, it would be shaking for like 11 <laughs> hours sometimes. And my roommate would be like, dude, can you not do laundry? I got to sleep final. tonight, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. How's the credit score, Sam? It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I don't I actually don't know, but it's it's solid. Um, speaking of what, have you ever washed your shoes in a washing machine? I think once, yeah. I did one because they get stinky sometimes. Uh-huh. Are you a sneaker guy? How many I, pairs of shoes would you say you have? A good amount, but I'm not like I'm not like I go into some of these stores now, and they're like, "It's a Nike Dunks for four hundred and eighty dollars." Yeah, you're not a sneakerhead, and you're like, "Yeah, those were like eighty bucks growing up." I don't sure. know why. So I don't. I'm kind of like, "Fuck that." No, mm-hmm. I mean, I like cool sneakers, but I'm not. That's not where I want to spend my money. Hmm. Well, you fart in an Uber. That's a that's a good one. Um, is it on the way to the airport and are the windows down? Then maybe. Okay. Because there's a lot of air coming in. Okay. Why airport? Because you're on a highway then, you mean? Yeah, you're on a highway, you're going quickly, the wind is is like a tunnel that's taking it out. I know what you're talking about. But if we're just farting a closed window, I think that's... That's rude. Because you're in a guy's car at the end of the day. So if it has one of those plastic things... Oh, in a cab? Yeah, if it's not if it's not making through, absolutely. Okay. I mean, also you have to wait a taxi cab, no question. In a world with no ratings, I mean, madness <laughs> will madness will come over. Sure. But if we're talking an Uber where it could reflect poorly on a score, then you're like, yeah, I want to behave. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess a cab is yeah. A There's cab a- is the wild west. Yeah. You can get blown in a cab. I have. You can- <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about DeRosa before. That's yeah. easy. The, the the back of the cab, international waters. Yeah. Damn. Nice joke. Yeah, it's good stuff. I feel like joke. a Motel Six, yeah. baby. <laughs> Shout out to DeRosa. Um Have you ever been kicked out of a sporting event? No, but we got someone kicked out recently, my brother and I, because my brother and I, we, it was literally getting to the point where it was going to be a fight in a next game. A guy dumped a beer on my brother's head, and my brother like pushed him. And I what was, the like, fuck, fuck is with that? What the fuck is he wrong? He was with drunk, people? and we got in his face, and I was, and I was like, "You fucking idiot!" And it was getting heated, and I started Instagram storing the guy, and there were people in the section who followed me, and they were, they started chanting, "Don't kick out Sam! Don't kick out Sam!" <laughs> He's got a special coming. <laughs> and we, and and the guy, and the security saw, it, and they're like, "What's happening?" I'm like, "This piece of shit." Poured a, a beer at my brother, and it got to where it was going to be a fight, and I was like, thank fucking God. Me and my brother are the toughest dudes. In the <laughs> but it's a bad combo where we're like willing, we're ready to go. I think we could have taken these dudes, but also I'm like, 
It's we're not leaving. You're just saying she's like, shape. I'll get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if it comes to it, I could take a beating, dude. Don't. I'll t- it's like that episode. You're fuck me up. It's like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer just like lets people get yeah, tired, yeah. beating the shit out the of him. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, uh, yeah. So the guy he got tossed. No, I, have I ever been tossed? No, I have. Thank God. No. Have I you I ever tried to start the wave at a sporting event? No, but I've gone with the wave. I don't well, like. Gotta go with the wave. it. If it yeah. comes in, it's just be a fucking asshole. You got to go with the wave. I don't. I don't love the wave. I'll, I'll partake if you have to. But no, I've never. Have you guys been thrown out of a sporting event? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. A lot of bars. My bars, brother's friend bars, got arrested absolutely. at the vet and went to the vet jail. We were at a Phillies game. We yeah, were veteran kids. stadium used to. Have My parents had to go it. get him out of there. Wow. Yeah. Like was, the Nero and Silver Linings. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hundred <laughs> yeah, yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. That's Boy, uh. That's the, the sporting events. Like I, I, for the same reason, I don't behave super badly. I. Uh, I like it's that like, shit's gotten wild, man. Well, yeah, I don't like that shit, and also it's some the same dude getting punched in front of his kid, the kid's bawling his eyes out. I hate that, dude. I ha- I was drunk one time. They gave me floor seats for the Knicks, and I was shit faced nice. on the in the front row. It was like a preseason game. That's where I get floor seats too. They're like, no one else wants <laughs> yeah. these. You can have them. I fought LeBron, <laughs> and, and king was, of the G League. It was Knicks Wizards, and John Wall was like just off like a one year injury or whatever and he gained a lot of weight and i was shit faced and my my trolling was like you've gotten much heavier john and he's looking at me he's here and he's just like shaking his head i'm like oh shit i'm that guy you put on a couple of pounds john <laughs> i was like john wall fucking hates me yeah. and uh yeah i was like that that was like ooh, i don't want to do that again that mm-hmm. was but i was hammered yeah it happens that free booze alcohol gets, booze gets the best of you sometimes yeah. i want to know was the guy you and your brother were beefing with was he a nick fan too I couldn't. He wasn't in any Knicks gear, and we were. So, I mean, that shit's wild. your security. Who are you gonna side with? It's true. Go. Gotta support right? the team. There you go. My brother was in a Ewing jersey from the '90s. So, will you wear if you go? If say you go to a, a Nick game, but not not here. If you go to an away game, will you wear your Knicks jersey? I would. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Why not? All right. I mean, uh, Knicks one is Yankees is harder than Knicks because people really hate everybody the Yankees. Everybody hates yes. the Yankees. Everybody Knicks, that's not a Yankees fan hates the Yankees. The Knicks aren't winning enough for people. They're not to threatening. Really They're like, ah, oh, that's cute. You still, I feel, you still I wearing feel, that? That's good. I feel bad for people who show up to Eagles games wearing like a Minnesota Vikings. It's dude. It's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> they, they man? Get, yeah, it's gotten better than what, what it are was. You doing? Do they have any good teams? I mean, if the twins are always threatening <laughs> to leave like a fucking uh, battered woman, they're always like, we're going to be gone soon. You're like, really? <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then who else? The T Wolves. The T Wolves are kind of good now. The, the Minnesota Wild had a run for a second, the Wild. hockey team. Oh, yeah. that's right. Uh, okay. I think they did. All right. Huh. Is yeah, there, but I mean, they're not a sports hub. Is there baking soda in your fridge? No. No. Is that mm. is that good or bad? It's trashy. You should have a little bacon soda. Really? It depends. I, 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 to me, it's trashy. Definitely in the freezer. What's in the freezer, by the way? Jeez, I got some like frozen berries. Better from... be butcher box <laughs> meats. <if laughs> you ask me. I'll Shout go. Th- I'll go through like uh, smoothie phases. I got gotcha. you. Oh, love a good smoothie phase. And uh, Where, like I'm turning it all around. Baby. Yeah, and it, it never lasts. <laughs> yeah. So the Bag berries of mixed are... fruit or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But you can do a lot of stuff. That that frozen fruit's all right. If you put that in a blender with some vanilla ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> it's not really the smoothie. I'm I think. just saying. <laughs> even acai. You got an acai fucking milkshake. The They're way, not bad. Have you ever looked at the nutritional facts from an, for an acai bowl? They're not good. You Crazy. think you're you think you're being yeah. healthy? You're like 78 grams of sugar in a bowl. This like how is that? You right. may as well just have Hagen does at yeah. that point. It Those acai better. bowls are good. Throw a little peanut butter and granola on there. Some chocolate chips. Fucking good night. <laughs> <laughs> You just described a Sunday. What are you talking about? <laughs> they really, it's brilliant. Dude, marketing. it is. It is. You're, you're eating dessert for breakfast. I, listen, yeah. but I don't even think they're marketing as healthy. I think we just see it. We go, this is a new word I learned recently. That's, it's got to be healthy. That's a great it's point. Not, no one's going, this is the most healthy thing. We just look at it, and we, we see the, the tropical name. We go, that's pretty good. Well, yeah. it's, like, it's like when Subway had a run, and they were like, we're fucking healthy, dude. And you're like, we used to think Subway was healthy. Because they got us with the sun chips. The sun, the sun chips no, really sold it. No, was that fucking it. pedophile they were yeah. trotting around <laughs> that for 20 years, dude? I knew he wasn't going to be trusted when they told us that was real avocado. <laughs> I, knew they were, I knew they were keeping some shit from us. <laughs> this is deeper than I yeah. thought. It's fucking bre- nerd's light, though. Is- that bread, too, is like, you know. They got it with the yoga mats. Yeah. But I like a good tuna, t- tuna hoagie from Subway. They're well, all right. Well, sometimes I'll do some downward dog on my uh, <laughs> Italian. <laughs> on uh, my eight grain bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got a checkbook? Not anymore. I do, but I don't know where it is. Everything, don't use everything's it? Uh, everything's digital now. Electronic, baby. Pretty good. I like that. Uh, what was your high school mascot? A panther. 
That's all right. Really? That's normal. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. You grew up in the city. Yeah. So this is a little bit skewed in your favor. But <laughs> okay. what was the name of your Chinese spot and your pizza place growing up? Jeez. I mean, there wasn't a pizza place because it's New York. I didn't right. have pizza, a pizza. Yeah. yeah, it was just pizza. But uh, well, And the first one was Chinese. Chinese. Where'd you go? Where were you the guys The place going? called Chef Ho that was really good. That's not there anymore. Ooh. I love them. I was trying to think what else. Uh, damn. I mean- Chinese was kind of similar, and like I, everyone says, like New York is uh, like the best pizza, like New Yorkers. And I'm like, I never, I never believe that. I, I think we're like 300 hitters. I think we're just like gonna get on base every time. There's it's more a, average pizza, but there's also a lot of bad pizza. That's too. what Ari, I mean. They started Ari's opening up the, all, all those places: the pizza and pasta, the pizza and falafel. Dude, it's it's a lot. Well, New York, but New York, you'll even a bad slice in New York is better than most places. But New Haven, Connecticut, is where the best Woo! pizza is. It shout is. out Sally's. Yeah. Best I mean, shout out to him. Frank Pepe's. I mean, they they have all the spots, but yeah. then but same with New York. Like LA has got fucking good Chinese. I hate to give it to them, but their Chinese really? is fucking good. Huh. I hate oh, to give LA credit it. for anything. <laughs> That's how New York he is. Yeah. <laughs> but uh no, they they have great Chinese. New York's got good Chinese, but SF is great Chinese too. Yeah. Damn good dim sum there. Yeah, we were just there. We didn't get to eat. We were there for like three hours. Oh, I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna it. give you some spots. There Chinese like spot in New York, though. God damn, ain't nothing better than uh, a good what, that's spot. showing up. I like the ones that are like Szechuan that are like we'll give you like uh, fish and a chili sauce or something, and yeah. then and you know, or they'll do like scrambled eggs and shrimp. They'll do like really <laughs> Chinese really, yeah. dishes where you're like, I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> this is like a weird. That's what Steve had? Yeah, it's just like whoever likes it. Um, <laughs> what's your go-to? What's your favorite pizza place in New York? Ooh, that's tough. Slice spot. I mean, slice, I go to Joe's because it's late night. Love so, Joe's. I mean, Joe's in the West Village is where as I just end up yeah. craving pizza, especially in the winter. Weekend. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I like. I mean, John's for a, a pie, a pie is, is, great. is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. John's on Bleecker. John's is so yeah. good. Truly, the, everything they do in there is good, too. All the, all the Italian food's fantastic. That's a classic. I love, I love John's. I love Joe's. Um, Joe's is great because... A lot of the places you see a long line and you're like, I'm fucked. But Joe's, they, they keep it moving. Yeah, it moves real quick. Then you go to like Bleecker Street Pizza and it's like three people, but it takes you 40 fucking minutes. I hate, I hate, I just can't. Every they time go, I go over in there, the top I'm with all the stuck. different toppings and all that shit. The salad pizza, the this <laughs> pizza, to that pizza. It's wild. You gotta Joe, keep it tight. Dude, Joe's literally is like, unless there's 400 people in line, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to wait. Because it, it just goes that quick. It's great. Yeah, Joe's Pizza is, is consistent. Mm-hmm. They were slipping for a minute, but I think they're back on track. It also depends on what time you go a little bit as well and how drunk you are. That's the thing. They think you won't notice a burnt slice I at know. 3 a.m. Yeah, maybe I won't, but <laughs> don't get cocky on it. Yeah, but you're yeah. <laughs> don't get, don't, Something to write home about me. either. Yeah, 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 don't yeah, don't break my trust. <laughs> of course. Do you have a bar at the house? Do you have a little bar area set up? Uh, I don't have a bar set up, but I have like a closet full of a shitload of booze. Okay. I have a lot of alcohol in there. <laughs> yeah, I have, a lot, I have like a lot of whiskeys and a lot of... Uh, problem is like when you have a drinking podcast, people just start drink, gifting you sure. alcohol. And I'm like... Yeah, I'm trying to like weed off. So like, I I need some like health in my life. Mm-hmm. That's acai that, bowls. That's there the other go. thing. People like, well, you know, they'll be like, let me uh, send them a shot on stage. I'm like, do I have to always be drunk now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to be sober sometimes. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of whiskey, wine, some gin. You know, mixers. I'll do like a martini or like a, if I'm making a drink at home, martini, Negroni, Manhattan. You'll have a cocktail Shout at the house. Manhattan. I'll wow. make I'll make a good cocktail. I like I. Oh man, I was just at a like a chain restaurant where they list the nutritional facts in oh. Manhattan. I was like, I had no idea I had that many calories. I just, I'll pound like four or five of those like that, and oh, then I'm just like, too. wow, that's really unhealthy. All yeah. right, you just ruined my week. Yeah. Thanks. Those brandy cherries add up. <laughs> those, that. I love those cherries. Oh man, I crush those things. A dark. I mean, dude, any, anything that you're bringing from a Sunday over into the drinking world, yeah. that's a win. I like all, all like places that I worked at the 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 bar fruit. Big oh, fan. Little dude. olive, get a little salty, have an oh, orange slice, a oh. couple of cherries. Nothing wrong with it. A good olive. It. Yeah, getting martini drunk is, is classic. Can't Big fan. Them. Dirty yeah. martinis, huge fan. You can't do that? I can't do the martinis, yeah. I'm just it's starting too, to stumble into the, the blue cheese olives, too. I never really liked them. That's a game it's like changer. an appetizer with your drink. 
it's, it's fantastic. Fucking be- uh, you ever go to a place and they're like, that's amazing. The jalapeno olives are great. Yeah. And then you ever go to a place where they, sometimes they get a little carried away with the Bloody Mary. You get like a, you, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's, you like, get, a, like, a there's like a pig ear in there yeah. or something. You're like, what the fuck, dude? I want it like back. A piece of shrimp, yeah. bacon. Yeah. You're like, Jesus Christ. That, this, with that stuff, you know that stuff isn't fresh, though. That's just sitting in the cooler. That now. was left over from brunch. Yeah. I don't care. Can't be my favorite butcher box. Oh, what a butcher box. My favorite. Love that butcher box, gang. You like top quality meat delivered right to your door? I got two words for you. Butcher box, get on it. We're talking <laughs> grass-fed, grass-finished beef. We're talking free-range chicken, wild-caught seafood. Wild-caught. Fresh pork, delicious, no antibiotics, no hormones, delivered right to your door. Uh-huh. Guys, the the good folks, the, uh, no, nay, the great folks over there at butcherbox.com have sent, have sent us so much meat, I got it coming out of my goddamn ears and my ass all over here. <laughs> I, I mean, you think we're joking? Uh, it's, it's genuinely bonkos. The <laughs> amount of meat they send us. I love these goddamn mm-hmm. people. I will support them till the day I die. We'll ride into the storm with the great folks over there at Butcher Box and support the people that support the show. Yes, uh, guys, you might be wondering, like, hey, Butcher Box has these wild, crazy offers. I wonder what it could be. Uh, do you like chicken? Because if you do. Open up, buddy. We, we got a got- tractor trailer <laughs> full of it for Guys, you. Guys, it's time to take chicken breast off your grocery list. Butch, I mean, this is fucking Banco. It should be called Banco's Box because Butcher Box is offering our listeners the deal that they've never offered before. Free chicken for a year. Yeah. Get two pounds of free range chicken, two pounds organic of chicken. chicken breast for free in every order when you sign up at ButcherBox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG. Claim this deal at ButcherBox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG. Do it. Do it. Um, do you have great. a dive bar, like a go-to dive bar you like? I, I, not I feel really like, in the city. I mean, because I, I don't have like that many bars I just go to. Sure. I, I, I'm not, drink after spots or whatever. Yeah, I'll have a yeah. drink at the cellar usually or like the uh, olive tree or the... Uh, what do you call it? The uh, Fat Black Pussy Fat Black. Cat. That's a good bar. Yeah. That's a good the bar. The bar over there is great. I'm trying yeah. to think, like, is there a dive? Jeez, I mean, I, there was a place growing up I love called the Subway Inn. I think they moved locations, but they still exist. It was, <laughs> such, it was right. such a shithole. <laughs> Look, everyone in there looked like they just got laid off. It was, <laughs> was amazing. Like, everyone was just nursing the saddest looking <laughs> drink. The the booths had, like, duct tape on them. Oh, there was, uh, I they, love they, a good dive they bar. Were, everything was sticky. You know, oh, yeah. you could tell like they just never cleaned the bar. Never ever. wiped the menu down or anything. Yeah. It was great. I remember, uh, I remember the bartender just like grabbed my friend and planted a big kiss on his mouth. I was like, "This is a fucking dive, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this just is a real assaulted. dive." Yeah. yeah, my friend was like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Dude, it's a dive. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta let him sexually assault you. That's, <laughs> That's what just happens. What it is, dude. You two are legally married now, just so you know. Uh, will you sleep with your socks on? In the winter, sometimes I'll do the like the really heavy, uh, like the the, really? Marine, really? the merino wool. Yeah, if, if it gets too cold. What are you sleeping in normally? I have poor circulation, just underwear usually. But I'll throw the socks. I look ridiculous. I know. Wait a but, minute, hold on. Yeah. In the winter, you're still sleeping in your boxers. Yeah, I have bad circulation, so I I uh, you need them. And then they're more socks. medicinal. I'm doing the weighted blanket now too. I have a fucked up neck, so I got a Tempur Pedic pillow. I lay on my back. I have the weighted blanket, and I'm not healthy, so I do like the. Uh, I do like six cups of coffee a day. I drink alcohol. I'll wake up with cramps in my leg in the middle of the night. And then I just wake up under the blanket. I look like I'm in an insane asylum. I'm just waking Jesus. up like, ah, Jesus. it's brutal. Christ. I feel like you have headphones on when you tell yeah. them. No, no, no. Some no. Reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, picture, I picture you just like that. Anytime you sunglasses. need sunglasses, you should never need more than like two things to go to sleep. It's Anything terrible. More than that's oh, I have the sleeping mask on too. Really? I like the nice sleeping mask. Well, because it never. The there's the always light good. getting in. I, Will I, you rock that on the plane if you're taking it? If you're oh, going yeah, snoozy of course, time, of course. Really? Well, who cares? Who cares how silly you look on a flight? You're never going to see these people again. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Hmm. But okay. I, I will. Uh, yeah, with the sleeping, I will do the. Do you guys do socks when you sleep or no? No. no if way. I pu- if I have them on when I go, I take them off. That's like that gets me night night time. I'll, like, I'll take them off with my feet. To me, it's like the end of the day. It's like the, any all the stress is gone. Like the you know the tightness of a sock, it's it's off. Interesting. It's well, you, you get a baggy sock. <laughs> <laughs> you get a, you, those socks are they're a little more baggy. Sure, so sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like anything on my toes. Um, all right, let's do a couple from Patreon. This is from Thick uh, Pen Penabra. Uh, what is the best day drinking holiday? Jeez, that's a that's a great question because I think the hack answer is is St. Patty's. Yeah. That's a terrible day drinking holiday. Oh, Patty, St. Worst. Patty's Day st- n- stinks. It's a nightmare. It mm-hmm. sucks. It's I amateur was, night. I I always lean 
for me, this is going to sound weird from a Jew, but I think Christmas. Sure. Yeah, that's it's one a of my great... favorite drinking days. For when you sure. were growing up, did you do? Did, would you guys do Christmas, or would you do the Jewish move, the Chinese food, and the movie? That's that was our move. Yeah. So jealous of that. Yeah, really. Oh, oh my god. Everything Greg Rogel used to have a bit about it. How Jews on on you know on Christmas Day we own this city. You yeah, know? <laughs> it's all ours. I would think of that bit. Way. But uh, if yeah. I could get the presents and still get a little Chinese and see see and see a new movie in an empty theater. Ah, I'd be all right. I love that. Yeah, and now it's just basketball all day. So I'm like, oh, I'm just ordering in Chinese food and watching eight hours of basketball mm -hmm. and yeah. getting drunk. It's amazing. But uh, that's a big one. I also say, obviously, Thanksgiving is a great day drinking holiday. Sure, for sure. How yeah, about you guys? What, what do you... I would say I'll Christmas, give you that. and it's because we do. Uh, we start with the Manhattan's kind of early as a Ooh. family, like all my uncles and stuff, and they're always bringing new fucking. You know, new liquor or new chair. Oh, I got this chair. It's whatever. So it's like everybody really brings their A game. And then we just get fucking sloshed off fucking Manhattans. My uncle has the best line. He says, two's not enough and three's too many. I was like, that's perfect. That's great. Well, that's the, the thing about it's like uh, like tits, right? That's mm -hmm. what they say about martinis. Oh, they yeah. say one is one's not enough. Two is perfect. Three is too many. Four's a party. Yeah, <laughs> that's very Four's all right. The, <laughs> right. I put down six the other night, a peasant. <laughs> Oh, dude, we, we, went out for my, we went out for my birthday. Day drinking on Christmas is awesome also because like we talked about the weather, but like cold, I take cold day drinking over warm day drinking. Oh, 100%. Cause cause you fight, there's a, yeah, there's like a struggle of like yeah. the booze and staying warm. Keep it's your like, sandbar on the river. It's I want a nice fucking yeah. snowstorm. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess I honorable mention Thanksgiving, but Christmas is worth it. It's the that. cake, baby. I'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. I like it. Fourth of July. You're all wrong. Yes, really? you're sweating. I don't know. <laughs> you're sweating. Usually, you get screwed where you <clears throat> you have to go back to work the next day. Christmas, you might have the next day off or something like that. I don't know. No fireworks on Christmas. Where's the danger? I, I'm <laughs> over it. I need a thrill. I like Toby's passion, right? Yeah. Now. I mean, I I hear you on that. I think this year I was coming back from a road gig that day, so I think it already went to like the back of my mind. Yeah. But it probably is. It's a good family. It is a good drinking day. I yeah, agree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big St. Patty's guy. I'm not a big New Year's Eve guy either. New Year's Eve is horrible. It's amateur night. It's amateur, and it's like the expectation of it as well. Of like, are you gonna go here? You gotta get a ticket. You gotta do what? It's like, get the fuck out of here. It's yeah. also the sadness if you're alone, where like there's that countdown. You're like, fuck, I'm alone. Mm -hmm. You know. Or I think New Year's Eve is just sad in general because like that year's over. It's the beginning of the year. It's fucking January. It fucking it's dark out. It's cold. It sucks. It stinks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a terrible, terrible night. And then you have those people who post those tone deaf posts, like things I accomplished this year, and you're like, apparently not self uh, awareness. <laughs> yeah. you're a fucking... yeah. This is how great I am. Yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> uh... 2023 is going to be my year. <laughs> <laughs> um, this you, was... you hope that guy gets run over by a bus on uh, January yeah. 1st. Yeah. Well, right He's... before midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only made it to 1159, huh, big shot? Yeah. Uh, this one's from TJ. Have you ever had an overweight bag at the airport and had to take loose clothes out of your luggage in front of everybody? Yeah. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> you know, even That's worse. So you know what happened to me once at an airport? I was doing a long trip, so I had I had a cheap ass, like fifty dollar maybe uh, chip roly bag. They never last, That's, dude. You got. I deserve this. One what thing: happened? spring for luggage. Even it, you're it's, right. You're, you're going to lose a wheel. The handle's going to break. And something's you could miss a flight. I mean, yeah. what happened was I, oh, I it just for some reason it just comes undone as I'm going down escalators. So I'm like, fuck. There's clothes. A toothbrush. Oh. A toothbrush falls out. <laughs> I just watch on the escalator. I'm like, that's, that's just a that's, gross sight. That's a wrap. So I had to just carry everything, and I go to a luggage store, and it's like 6 a.m. They're like, we're not open yet. I'm like, come on. <laughs> so I have to grab all this shit to another luggage store, and they go. Oh, this will work. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then I look at the price tag. It's like $550. Oh. And I'm like, oh. And then I looked at it. I'm like, it is a cool bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I still use it. It's a great bag. But holy shit, they had me. They have yeah. they have you hostage. You got to do it. Oh, yeah. That but you see, what, you see where that money goes. You're like, this is a f damn fine piece of luggage. I know. I, but, I sprung for my first nice uh, carry, like roller bag. And it's like a fucking game changer from. I used to use a duffel. Which I like it's terrible. tough, especially when you're traveling as much as we do now. It's like yeah, you're just gonna jerk your neck out. I know. Yeah, and I also the you notice the bat the cheap rolly bags. You're like jerking it. I'm like fucking. It doesn't up my, come it's with like a you, grocery yeah. store cart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. the wheels are wobbling. <laughs> yeah, and, shit. Yeah. and then you do the uh, you do the actual one. You're like I'm gliding, this dude. Is... When you if you have one, which like all most of the good ones are, push. Like vert, like you don't have to tow it. You know what I, I mean? Know. It just roll. It just cooks right next to you. What are we talking about? Like a toomey? 
a Tumi. I got a nice Herschel that I like. I was walking recently, and some guy goes, that's nice luggage, to his buddy, and pointed at me. <laughs> really? Like a million bucks. <laughs> he hit his buddy, goes, that's nice luggage. <laughs> Holy shit. Couldn't tell shit. me shit the rest of the day. That's a nice feeling. Yeah, yeah that's great. good. Mm-hmm. I've never gotten that. Dude, I remember yours recently. We were coming home from Texas, yeah. and he's duct taping it. I wrapped it with a lint, oh, lint, lint roller. He's a lint, lint roller. Which is pretty genius. He took the lint roller and used it as tape. <laughs> To tape his luggage oh up. Oh, my God. But then the handle wouldn't go yeah, down, wouldn't so go. he couldn't get it. It was just a just fucking bitch that, trying whenever, to get it in the overhead. Whenever it's like a, a designer <laughs> or something that's not known for luggage, it, you, you, I had like a Kenneth Cole. I'm like, that's not what he's known <laughs> yeah. for. It's known for jackets see, and yeah. sport coats. It's like you see a guy with one of those bags, and you're like, Puma? What <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I saw somebody go to Charleston that had an Adidas roll on. I was like, what the fuck is that? It's not their specialty. Uh, Remember when they tried to pimp out cologne and stuff like that too? Like everybody Adidas started rocking Adidas, that. Michael Nike. Jordan cologne. Yeah. <laughs> you smell like a gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> smells like the over. <laughs> Jordan put his name on everything. He had the steakhouse. He had the, oh yeah, yeah Michael Jordan still, steakhouse. Is it still open the steakhouse. Oh, it's open. I stayed yeah. in a hotel right next to it, and I, I I almost went there as a goof, and then and then I text him, and he's like, "Dude, it's the worst place you've ever been, and it's insanely expensive." I was so glad we didn't go. Wait, who did you say you texted? <laughs> Uh, a, a guy from Chicago, oh, James, I, James Webb, who oh, okay. directed my special. Oh, okay. But uh, you know, uh, I was like, "Dude, should we? Should Gary and I go?" And he goes, "Don't go there, dude. Trust me." So I thought you texted Jordan. You're like, I texted him, and I'm me like, and he MJ, said, "Don't dude. go." I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're just dropping this shit on me now. I was like, "Yo, jump man, what's happening?" <laughs> what's me going to play? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we text like crazy. <laughs> Finish it off with a three pointer Sunday. <laughs> It looks fucking horrible, that place. But well, and Chicago's got such good food, you know? I'll have, I'll have the right flu the game corner. special. Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody, some I forget who, some athlete has one around the corner from here. I forget mm. who it is. Dude, they used to have some real trash. Clyde Frazier or somebody? Oh, yeah. It's Walt like, Frazier. Walt that, Frazier, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. New York royalty. That guy is the coolest. He is my one of my favorite athletes of all. You see, I interviewed him once. For when I had a sports show on MSG, and he's the nicest guy, mm-hmm. and I could tell he was like, "Ugh, I have to get interviews." So I'm like, "I'm gonna ask him really good questions." So he's really pumped, and I was doing stuff like, "You guys used to be roommates in hotels on the road, you know." And he did, was shocked. I knew that I was like, "You and Phil Jackson were roommates," and he's like, "Yeah." He was like, and we yeah. had this great conversation, and then they poked me. They're like, "Ask him like about his interviewing and like how he uh, commentates games," and I was like. How do you like commentating games? And he was like, it's all right. And that's all they used. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I had this like amazing moment with him. They're like, that'll work. That's fine. <laughs> we was like, I felt meaningful connection just down the toilet. Wow. <laughs> he's the man, though. I mean, he's a, he's a New York legend. Oh, I had my funny. birthday there one year. Really? My really? family, my family was like, "This is not good food." Yeah, I mean, he's not. He's no again. That's like you know, getting Puma luggage. He's known for Duncan, <laughs> not the ribeye. My mom was like, "This is not good." I can picture your parents very refined Manhattanites. Yes, yeah, absolutely. My mom, especially, very proper. Like, hates my humor. Like, it's and I doesn't hate it, but I'm like, when it's you not have, her cup of tea. But when you have a mom behaving like that, like, that's of course, where your, of that's course, where your humor comes. That's from. where it comes from because yeah. her, her being taboo. like Sam, and I'd be like, that's a joke. That's a reaction you know I mean? right there. Let's so go. she would get upset, and I'm like, well, that's the joke. And uh, man, I'd see her face in the crowd sometimes. Like, she'll come support the show, but I can tell that she hates a lot of the jokes. So she's like in the crowd and I just see, I'm in the middle of a set. I see her in the crowd like, <laughs> what the fuck? That's not helping mom. <laughs> just don't come. Right no, she's, she's very You're not supportive. going to Derek Jeter's with me afterwards. <laughs> I can tell you that. Kiss that gift bag goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, she's supportive, but there's certain jokes that like, they, you know, bothers her. Sure, sure, sure. <sighs> hmm. Um, this is from Ben. Is it garbage to share custody? Of a pet with an ex. Ooh. It's not garbage. It's insane. That's why. I don't know why you would. You got to go fucking band aid <laughs> right off. Separate yeah. it. What is this? Kramer versus Kramer? <laughs> Give her the fucking cat, dude. Yeah. Let it go. No what, shit. What, 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 share custody. So what? Like you get the dog. On the weekends? I, I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. That is also. How do you explain that to your next partner? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got. I love this dog. I have to give it back to Sheila on Monday. So get your cuddles in today. Whose room is this? I mean, you know? this is this is a terrible, terrible. I had a friend have this recently, and uh, his girl asked for their cat back, and I said, no. And he said, why? I was like, she broke up with you. Yeah. You get the cat. And he said, yeah. I respect that. Yeah. And yeah. I had a little bit of backbone. And then I think he gave her the cat. Uh, I was you like, don't want to be in this family me? anymore. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're not getting the cat. I'm taking a cat. What are you, nuts? She's Meryl Streep. You're Dustin Hoffman. You stepped up, dude. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree with that. Fuck that. Yeah. But also at the same time. Put the time. cat through college, do all that stuff. <laughs> huh? I, I think that's, here. that's madness. Yeah. I, yeah, I could never do but it. But also, also, this is like the people that invest in a pet too early in the relationship Ooh, sometimes. Oh, yeah. And you're like, three months in, maybe don't get a cat. Like, yeah. Look, don't, ex- don't commit 18 years to something mm-hmm. or whatever. My ex and I thought about it. We all thought about it during COVID. We're like, we're home all day. Let's get a little cat. Perfect. And then you're like, no, because then you're... They're going to they're gonna get a vaccine at some point. We're going to get out of this goddamn apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we all thought about it during COVID. The, you know. A lot of people did. A lot of people gave them back. That's fucked ah, up. That's real fucked that's up. That's evil. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You, gave it, you gave it a taste of the good life? Yeah. <laughs> see, how the thing, see how things could be? <laughs> now back to the fucking shelter. Two weeks into a relationship, you get a sea turtle together. What the fuck? This thing lives 150 years. <laughs> <laughs> Those you people get, get the parts of that. Yeah. How about the people that have pet birds? Wild. That's a that's big on you the have show. One? No, no, it's big on the show, especially loose birds. If you have loose birds in the house, which we have had a good amount of guests that have had loose birds, oh guys walking through like uh, Washington Square Park with like a toucan on their shoulder. Mm-mm. I used to I used to tutor a kid, and there were just birds flying everywhere. I'm like, e- I have ADD already. Oh. You think I can fucking focus if I'm like just looking this? It's the fucking worst. Also, dude. there's a barber shop by me, and I go there, and they have birds, and I'm what? like, what? I don't like. You have a choice to do that. I fucking hate that. Yeah, it is my. They're just in there flying around. No, they're in the cage, but it still bugs me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. Our neighbor has birds. We hear them all the time. It's an annoying pet. Yeah, it's an annoying pet. I love birds, but keeping them and having them flying around the house. No, unless you rehabilitate them, obviously. Yeah, I was just in a park, and there was like a proper. I don't even know what it was. A parakeet, like a domestic bird, just chilling on a tree, and I was like, "That's somebody's fucking." Yeah, they just let it go. And like you could it's like tell, a Pixar movie right there. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell it was domesticated because we walked up to it and it just fucking. Hello, it, it was like for me to like for me to the fucking cup a foot away, just sat there staring at us. I'm like, this is singing. This is screaming to fuck out. <laughs> that Yikes. does sound like a movie right there. The, the domesticated bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, this one's from Robert. Uh, Ten dollar homie here, like a gentleman. Oh, sh- is it garbage to have? Is it garbage to have to borrow gym clothes for gym class in middle or high school? Garbage? I don't know. I've you ever to, forget I've the, the, Yeah, I've gone to the uh, bin before. The lost and found. That's yeah. tough. It's tough. It's gross. Putting someone it's, else's gym shorts The on? lost and found in gym class is different than the regular lost. That is a fucking bucket of sweat and fucking yeah. dirt. Underwear and, and disgusting. Shit. Yeah. It's garbage. We used yeah. to, I don't it's know. Not, it's not your, the, your proudest moment if you have to do yeah. it. You guys might be too young for this, but uh, Umbros were big when I was a kid. Shout out to the Umbro. And yeah. you could steal those out of lockers real easy because they were so uh, thin. They would pull through the grate. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're <laughs> a dirt If you bag, got hemmed dude. up, yank one of those out. Dude, those little grates. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Damn. Get a fucking hanger in there. Boop, fresh pair of umbies. Good night. Gym class was the shit. Who's doing shorts heists? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, well, I'm not wearing jeans to play kickball like a loser. We would get trying like, to win the game here. We would get in trouble if we did. Like you would get like. Oh yeah, you would get in trouble. You know, you would drop whatever percent, like five percent, or, or make you start running in fucking dress shoes or something like that. Get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah. Now I'm stealing. <laughs> Push, you know, it's me or him. Push comes to shove. <laughs> I don't know what to, I've had a couple umbros taken too. It's like umbrellas at the front of a diner. You take them and you leave them. Yeah, that bin is a risk. I, I yeah, you, know, you can't you can't leave them in the bin. No, put them under the table. It's like when people put the jacket on the hook. I'm like, you're gonna lose a jacket. Oh, I've lost so in a bar or whatever. Yeah, I've lost yeah. so many jackets that way, leaving it somewhere or whatever. Or somebody else or someone else just takes it. I don't even think another. You're just filled. You're there at a bar full of drunk people who are like. Oh, this black pico, this one's mine. Yeah, that's the least that they've done that night. Of course, yeah. They probably exactly. groped a woman at the bar. He's going to take your umbrella. I had another comic at a club one time do that. They took my, I had a black jean jacket. They took mine. Who he, was it? Dude, he was like 120 pounds. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't realize? I sure it wasn't Bruce Bruce. <laughs> 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 the only other comic that could do it. <laughs> Earthquake sold my hoodie. Earthquake's <laughs> actually in cheap. I know. Um... But he sounds like he shouldn't be. I know, yeah. and he's got a great special. That, was, that special be, was so you good. You shouldn't be a thin comic named Earthquake uh, or yeah. a normal... He was bigger back in the day, which is the know. Earthquake I was referring to. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. Fucking fact checker up. Frank over here. Take it easy. Anyway. <laughs> well, I was going to go with Earthquake, and then I realized he was smaller, and I went with Bruce Bruce. <laughs> I picked the low fruit. <laughs> um, yeah, this kid was like 120. I'm like, you didn't realize that you were wearing a 5X? Yeah, that's Halfway out yeah. the fucking door? 
wild. Is hmm. that, do you really? How big a size are you? The jean jacket. The jean jacket in question was a five X. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, I'm that's down fucking, to four now. It's a four X T shirt. That's good. Yeah, we're getting there. Four X. Yeah, that's fucking huge. Huge. <laughs> I like how he's like, oh, that's good. Jesus, it's Christ. huge. It's, yeah. But it's weird when I look at like a two X. I'm like, God, that looks so small. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, well, you'll what size you. is that? Is that an extra large or a, a large. large? That's a large? Yeah. Man, I couldn't get my toes in there. All right. Let's do a couple more here. This one's from Leon. Uh, first time, long time. Have you ever been on the receiving end of a t-shirt cannon at a sporting event? Yeah. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, I caught one once. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Was it that Yankee uh, shirt? It was, shirt. <laughs> it was a it was a Yankee shirt. It has a Chase logo right now. Uh, that's always what they get. Like it's free T-shirt. It's like day. Yeah, like, yeah, they fuck yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the Wells Fargo Yankee shirt. <laughs> yeah. that's what I want to wear. It says City Bike on yeah. the back, <laughs> where the name of the player is supposed to be. That oh, sucks. cool! An American Airlines Met shirt. <laughs> uh, just what I always wanted. But uh, yeah, I caught a shirt once. It's like a shitty shirt, you yeah. know. It's like, but I have it still. It's a Nick shirt, you know. Have you ever been on the jumbotron? No, I. W oh wait, have I? And have you made it on the jumbotron when you were on the when no, the court side? No, as a I, celebrity, I was with Michelle Wolf, who was on it once, gotcha. and she and she. I saw I was next to her on it, but no, I've never, I've never. It would. I'm glad they have, and it would be the saddest response. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be. How many thousand people just like, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll, tell, I'll be a Knicks gear, huh? so they'll at least be like, all right, he's, he's a Knicks fan, but they'd be like, but we don't. Yeah. One yeah. guy at the top of the stadium, like, oh, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy! <laughs> Gets real oh, quiet man. to the one guy yelling, Sammy! If they, don't, if they don't know me at a Knicks game, they don't fucking know me. <laughs> That's, <yeah. laughs> That's like where you're like, oh shit, I just got humbled. Uh, I think it happened to Chris Stefano where they put him on. Yeah, I think once after, or twice. After uh, Phil Collins. Collins. And Phil yeah, Collins was what? Yeah, and Phil Collins was like, "It's okay, mate." And he's like, "Yeah, no, it's no yeah. one cheers." Yeah, they oh, like the, shout out to Chrissy. They, dude, the roof came down for Phil. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> they cut to him, and they were like, "Who? What?" You're making Chrissy D follow the guy yeah. who did Susudio. Come yeah, on, no kidding. brutal. <laughs> This guy was in Genesis. What are we doing here? <laughs> but Chris D's a New York code. guy. Chris D's a New York, uh, New York, New York royalty. Shout out yeah, to yeah, Chrissy yeah. D. Um, what about home run foul balls? You ever shag one of those? I've never gotten one. Although I was at a game once and it w went off a thing and hit my friend in the head <laughs> and he had to go to the hospital. And I was like, I got to leave a fucking Yankees game. Uh, Mike got a Lowell, nail going here. Michael Lowell uh, hit it when he played for the Yankees briefly. Remember Mike Lowell? That's all right. Yeah. Now, did they do anything for him? I don't remember. I was like fucking pissed. I was like, you made me miss the Yankees game. You usually get a bat or something out of that. Really? If they hit you in the head. Look how excited yeah. he got. Damn. Yeah, you get a little something something. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yeah. As an adult, as a yeah. kid is different. As an adult, have you ever brought your glove to the game? Not as an adult. No, right. It's just too, that. it's ridiculous. Maybe if I had like a son at the game with me, it'd sure. be like a father-son thing. Of course. 100%. But like, but yeah. As an, as you a, and Veter uh, can't roll up to a, <laughs> <laughs> to a Giants game and fucking we'll look like Make-A-Wish kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, uh, no, Gary, no, I would never uh, do that as an adult. And also you're just like an adult with a glove. It, you look it's ridiculous. Weird, it's weird, yeah, it's man. a tough look. Yeah, that would have been. Although, that, but then you, you said see the right a, thing. A ball does come at you though. And you don't, you're like, I wish I had, I a, wish glove. had a glove. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go barehanded. You got to take the pain. I know. You got to take it, though. You're going to get a, at the best case, you get a jammed thumb, mm -hmm. maybe worse. Yeah. You got to use the hat sometimes. You ever see people use the hat? And you're yeah. like, pretty slick. I've seen dudes holding babies. Fucking yeah. Just <laughs> he had, there was one just went viral. Dude just fucking yeah. calmed it like that. Was It kind of wasn't even looking up. Just like. He just holds up the wrong hand. The baby gets hit. He's like, shit. <laughs> Hey, you get a free back. <laughs> Kid took one for the team. Uh, all right. Do you know? Do you or anyone you know have a third nipple? Which I didn't realize we already talked about three nipples. Uh, no, not that I know. Any, of. Anybody grew, kids grew up with had weird anything? Not that I. I don't know about the third nipple. That's like. Uh, did you guys know a third nipple guy? We had a web. Theoretically, I do. What? You have a third nipple? Theoretically, yeah. Damn, dude. There's a split in the middle. Is the boob as big as the other two? <laughs> Theoretically, I have three nipples. Wait, your Damn. nipple is split? It's split down the middle, yeah. It's like an injury, or you were born that way? I got It got sliced. If you're a woman, you'd have to do a 3XL bra. On. <laughs> <laughs> Triple cups. That's crazy that you uh, you have a third nipple. Is that Theoretically. Fucking... I mean, if you're ca it's one nipple. You were born with one nip. I was born with one nip, but it's like a salamander when like two tails will grow. All right, enough. 
The, the clinical term for it is accessory nipples, which is ah. fun. like it's a purse. aftermarket, yeah, <laughs> like it's a Civic, and you put rims on it. Accessory, oh my god, <laughs> that's tough. Um, all right, let's see, let's do one more here, and then we can wrap her up. Um, this is from Mulp. Anyone you know refer to as going to bed as hitting the sack or any other idiom for that matter? I feel like a lot of parents typically have hitting the sack. sack. I've said it. I mean, yeah. yeah Hitting the sack. We had growing up was my dad would say up the wooden hill. Let's go up the wooden hill. I don't know. I've never heard Sound that. Sound Amish. To the me. shower we called the rain locker. What? Really? Yeah, get, in the rain, get up there and get in the rain locker. So my that dad sounds like say. where you sit after you got molested. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to the rain locker. Go rinse gotta... off in the rain locker. <laughs> That's uh... and Tell Uncle Charles you're sorry. Watch the shame off me in the rain locker. Yeah, a lot of no. crying in the rain locker. I would say mm-hmm. uh, hit the sack. Yeah. You know? Get some, get some sleep. I don't like when people are like, get some Z's. I'm like, catch some up. Z's is tough. That's <laughs> tough. That's like when people say LOL in real life. Yeah. And you're like, dude, that's not just text that if you yeah. need to. I know, but I I, do you have any? Uh, do you, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Do you have anything you like saying for money? That's a big one we say. Like bucks, or do you have like fazols or anything you dough, dough, those cash, 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 a little bit of uh, money. Get paid. Yeah. A couple <laughs> of bones. One. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bones is fun. Bones is an old school one. I bones is all right. Yeah. I like when rappers would say, uh, would say cheddar and shit back in like Cheddar's the great. Cheddar's great. Guap is good too. Some guap. Yeah. Or it's like anything that you like, it can just be money. Yeah. Because you're like, everyone likes cheddar. We've Cheddar's been saying turkey great. a lot in the ad Turkey. Reads. Yeah. Well, turkey. So to, yeah. Turkey. Now great. let's get to the turkey. <laughs> Turkey's the most underrated meat. Really? It you're it divisive. It, you, you're opening up a whole can of turkey. Yeah, what are you here's, talking about? Here's why a turkey sandwich always good. Love that. I'll and give you that. Turkey good, lunch meat you're talking about. I love sliced turkey. Of course, but because, actual turkey. No, but yeah, oven actual, fresh turkey no, on no, a sandwich no, no. is very nice. No, no, like, no, no. I agree. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about actual like Thanksgiving turkey. I, I would rather do Chinese on fucking Thanksgiving, <laughs> honestly. Chinese couple, a couple, couple of stiff drinks, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, but actually, just sliced turkey because like I love pastrami, but you feel like shit after you eat that. Oh, you're sweat- yeah. I can feel the nitrates fucking coming out of my turkey. Neck. You never feel that bad. After you you almost sandwich. feel good. You almost feel good. It's light. That's why it's a good sandwich. It's a little to have cheddar, a avocado, yeah. mayo. That's a good sandwich. It's like a protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw some throw some vanilla ice cream on there. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sam Morrell, brand new Netflix special out right now Check called it the fuck Same out. Time Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Do yourselves a favor and check it out. Like we said in the beginning, and we mean this, a true stand-up comedian, a true headliner, a true New Yorker. Sammy, thank you so much thank for sitting you down guys. with us. Anything so else you want the to folks you. out there to know? Plug dates or whatever. Uh, or whatever when does this come do. out? Uh, t- two days. Yeah. yeah. Dania Beach, Florida this weekend. Louisville. A really expensive round-trip <laughs> ticket, <laughs> so you might want to make it t-shirt. worth it. Yeah. Irvine. Omaha, Phoenix, Samarell.com slash shows, Lexington, Kentucky. I'm all over. Kids working. Yeah, yeah. Game, games with names. We might be drunk. Uh, other specials on YouTube and, uh, Bodega, and, and Cat. Bodega Cat Whiskey. I'm, I'm shucking a ton of shit here. Love man. it, baby. But, uh, Kids yeah. working. Uh, yeah. Life is good, man. It's good to be working. Thank love you, buddy. It, buddy. Congratulations. We love you. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we're uh, our second show we added in Philly is almost sold out, so get those tickets if they're not already gone by the time this is out. Uh, we're going to be adding a second show in Boston and Rhode Island, I believe, as those are fucking sold out. Um, we're Next week, work we'll be in Springfield, we're St. Louis, and Kansas City. Yeah, coming through Missouri, so get those tickets. Springfield please. Blue Room? Yes. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, Classic. Yeah, yeah. Which I think could it. use some help, so get some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.